Oh my god, yes, there they are, the Darox plate legs, that is the last item for full Darox, a great way to start the video. 488 chests, obviously most of that was only killing Darox, but finally it's done. And this entire grind actually put me on rank 3 for Barrel, so that's pretty nice, I mean it doesn't really mean anything, but uh, yeah, not bad number go up. It is now time to try out the Darok set at Cerberus. I only have 81 strength and 80 attack, so I will be able to hit a lot harder in the future. As well as I don't have the Primordials, I don't have Berserker Ring. I'm missing a lot of things, but uh, I want to see how hard I can hit anyways. I think uh, 20 HP is where I'm going to try to stay around, because with the Absolute Unit, with uh, two Fragments, I can actually take a 16 as max hit, so should be fine at 20 HP. Also, I do not have super strength, but uh, let's see how this is going to go. Can I get a big hit? 83, and that was not a duplicated hit as well. Oh my god, look at this damage. This is insane. I've already killed half of the HP of the boss. If I had all my strength bonuses, like 99 strength and everything, I feel like I could almost like two hit this boss, which is just mad. Can I get a big hit? Ah, chanced. And that was the first Cerberus kill, 125 points, and another is defeat a Slayer boss, which is another 25 points. And uh, am I dead? E yes, I'm dead. I am definitely not living up to the potential of the set that it has on Cerberus. I need to get 99 strength, I need to get 99 attack. I need to get my last Relic Fragment, which I'm 4,000 points off, and I need to get those Dragon Boots, the Fire Key back, Berserker Ring, Berserker Ring imbued, all these things to make it the best it could possibly be. Right now, as you can see, I just barely can't get the damage in to get past the Spirits, and that is really what is screwing me up here. So I'm going to try to unlock all of these things, come back here, smash this boss, and really see what the potential of Darox is. And there they are, that is the first upgrade, the Dragon Boots for 2 strength bonus. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Warrior Ring, 1kc. It's not the ring I want, but uh, it is a ring on 1kc. So what am I even supposed to say here? 1kc, Warrior Ring, 2kc, Berserker Ring. That is the ring upgrade achieved. On the leagues, you can't do Nightmare Zone, so you just have to pay money. Put 650k in, and that is what it costs to imbue the ring, so let's do that. And that is now the Berserker Ring imbued. And that is the Fire Cape reobtained, and I get a Combat Fragment along with it. Maybe it's something good. Let's see what it is. Sarah Dominus the Defense. I'm not sure what that is, but I think all the God War named things are pretty good. When wearing 4 Sarah Domin items, if you've taken damage from an NPC or a player in the last 3.6 seconds, your max hit is increased by 10. Poison does not trigger this effect. I would say this is not the greatest thing. I actually managed to find a setup of a fragments that allow me even with 6 relics to have all the things I want. A full absolute unit as well as full twin strikes and I think the last one full knife's edge. So I don't think I need to get all the renown for the next relic. I think I should be at full power now as long as I have the stats and the gear for it. So uh, watch this by the way. I'm going to just one bang this thing. Oop. Oh, so close. 94. That was really, really close. And that is the Dragon Defender. I actually went for this for all the AFK melee training I need to do to get to 99 attack and 99 strength. I'm going to be doing it with shared whips. I will get 99 defense as well, which I'm very close to. You know that moment when you spend like 10 hours just AFK in combat just to record a 10 second clip of you having 99 strength, 90 attack and 99 defense. The absolute last thing I need to do before I can go and slap some Cerberus with the Darok set is actually get Barrow's Gloves. But before that, I need to do some fishing. I don't have any food right now and I will definitely need quite a bit of it. So I'm going to be AFKing some Monkfish fishing after I literally just AFK for like 11 hours or something. I need to AFK some more. But when I have food, I'm getting the Barrow's Gloves. I need to do like 4 quests, I think. And when I have that, it is time for Cerberus. I swear, Leaks really is a strange thing. I have 232 quest points and I just completed Demon Slayer. And the last upgrade is completed. That is Recipe for Disaster completely done. I have to do Shadow of the Storm, some mini quests, of course the Golem as well for Shadow of the Storm. And now we actually get an Experience Lamp as well. That gives a good amount of experience that I'm going to put in Herb Lore for uh, the future making of Saradom and Bruce. 
So let's see how much we get. I think it's 20,000 experience times 12, so 60 herb lore. And we get 240k and we're all the way to almost 67. So that helps a lot. And look at those. That is the Barrow's Gloves for 130k. Let's see the strength bonus difference compared to Adamant, which is what I had before. It is plus 5. That is a lot. So let's go and slap some Cerberus. Hopefully we can notice quite a difference. Imagine if I just hit the boss and it's like terrible still. That, that would be sad. All these gear upgrades is not everything. I actually have super attacks and super strength as well. And I don't know why, but I'm so nervous. I'm like, if this is going to be terrible, then maybe everything I worked for the past days is going to be just useless. I mean, there is a big chance that happens because Darrow King Nex is uh, quite a pipe dream. But I really wanted to try it. That really is what Leagues is about. So let's see how this goes. Oh my god, 103 and 73 damage. How fast was that kill? That was like 15 seconds. I haven't had any spirits yet. So that is really nice. Can we skip the spirits? Come on. One hit. Oh yeah, I made it. Okay, that was as close as it can get. I guess I can still get the spirits if I'm unlucky with the hits. Oh, I just got superior tracking. That is the one that makes superiors way more frequent to spawn. Up to 1 in 30. So that is going to be very nice if I want to raise my slayer a bit more. You might be wondering, why am I all of a sudden at Nex? Well, I unlocked the boss, it was only 15 renown, and I knew that the Primordial Boots was only a 1 strength bonus plus, so it's very minor. But I wanted to have them if this method would be working. But now that I have all the upgrades, I wanted to go to Nex right away to try and see how this would work, if it would be realistic or not. And uh, I can safely say that... Uh, this is not going to be possible. Uh, unfortunately, it is what it is. Uh, I did this for a few attempts and uh, of course in the first phase it's kind of annoying because Nex drains your stats. So you do even less damage, but uh, I got some nice hits in, you will see that in a bit. I got some really high hits in on Nex, which was really cool to see. But the main reason why I actually went with the Derox is a bit more complex than maybe you might think. It wasn't just because I saw every single YouTuber try out the Derox method because you can hit like crazy hard. I think Settled said that the max hit with like all the relics you can get is like 450 or something, it's ridiculous. But uh, the main reason why I decided to go with it and try it out is because of the blood phase. The blood phase you have to do really good DPS on or you have to kill the minions really quickly to be able to go through. And that is a massive roadblock for solo players. And I thought that if I would go with Darox and I could get some nice good hits in, I could just skip the phase. If I, if I would hit like a 300, you know, I could skip the phase and I would be fine. But uh, the consistency of this gear is just terrible on X. Even though the defense is not super high, Darox is not really meant to be a crush weapon. And you kind of need to crush because that is the style that Nex is more weak to. But because this set is just not consistent enough, even with super strength pots and all these things, it is just not going to happen. I mean, even if I had full Saradomin Bruce, restores and everything, at least with my skill and honestly my guess overall, I don't think it is going to be possible to do this solo. Now on top of all of this, I did try some ranged and I realized even if I had the best gear in the game, I don't think it would be possible with this either. Unless I would do the main game strategies, which is like a three hour kill. There is like one person who has managed to do it and uh, the kill was over three hours, which is not a very fun thing. And in theory, I will have to do hundreds of next kills and that is just not possible. I actually thought that initially there would be some really nice relics that will help out to make next way easier in the leagues. But the best relic set bonus in the entire league for PVMing is the absolute unit one, which reduces the damage you take by 50% and reflects 100% of that damage that you take back to the enemy. Now, this would be insane, but on Nex it doesn't work. The damage reduction works, but the reflect does not, because she cannot take any reflect damage. And all the other relics really in the game are kind of weak on their own. For example, I can't use the Unholy Ranger, which would give me way higher accuracy, because if I did, I can't pray. And then I'm just going to take more damage, and the absolute unit is not really going to matter. So it would still be really bad. 
In the previous leagues there were things that, for example, doubled your attack speed, that also gave you higher accuracy, and that healed you when you did attacks. I thought with something like this being in the league usually, I would be able to kill Nyx because its damage is not super high, but it's very consistent. But now, when there's not really anything like that, the Drakkan's touch is like the best thing you can get, and 10% of my damage healing me, I don't think that's really going to cut it. Even if I had full Saradom and Bruce, Resource, everything, that is not going to be enough. Now, I'm not saying that it's impossible to solo Nyx in the leagues. It definitely is not. People in the main game have done it, as I said, albeit it took them three hours to do it. But looking at, for example, Wux in the main game, he did not manage to get a solo, but he got halfway actually to the blood phase, which is the main issue. But in the league, he might be able to do it. So I'm saying it is possible, but that requires basically the best players in the game and also so many hours of doing it because the DPS relics overall is not really that impactful this league, especially on Nex. I honestly think that if I would kill Nex all the time with cheese mechanics and I would do it with the best in slot gear, it would still take me more than the entire league in terms of time, getting all the supplies, all the gear, everything to get a Sarite crossbow. And I'm not really enjoying this league that much, I would say. So I am very sorry to say that this is not going to be happening. And I am actually going to stop playing the league to focus again on my group Iron Man. I already know that most people have been fed up with league videos. And of course mine is nothing special. Most people have decided not to watch my content for the leagues. And I understand that. And I really feel bad for letting you guys down. Those who actually did think this was interesting. But it really just isn't realistic. Of course I made up this goal before the league was released. And that might be something to consider next time to not do. Because I don't know how good the relics are going to be. But anyways... That is going to be it for this video. The future videos will be on my group Iron Man again, and I have some amazing progress to show you guys on that account. But until next time guys, take care.